feeling of the interview was they didn't want people who fitted into a box. They wanted people who had uh, unusual dynamism for this role because this role was an unusual role. Unwittingly, we were the part of the breakdown of a very well-ordered, unionised, structured way of producing television. And for organisations like the BBC that struggle with diversity, it was an object lesson in a, a room on the first day that had black, white, men, women, young, old, people of faith and people not of faith. Channel One made my career such as it is. I was one of the youngest people there, one of the least experienced. Uh, there was, a, a, t there was a, a, a sprinkling of weird dust if you'd been at, on you, if you'd been at Channel One, which was people were both suspicious of you and thought that you could do something that no one else could do or very few people could do and thought you had this kind of uh, mastery of the dark arts of television on the cheap, which was what everyone was desperately trying to do as, we, as it happened at the kind of the dawn of a multi-channel era. It was incredibly hard work, it was incredibly inspiring uh, and what it left me with was a sense that things do not have to be as the orthodoxy dictates. The organisers of this event say that it's been a... Well, this is Paul Harris, reporting for the Napoleonic Association. One reporter met his Waterloo. I'd like to report London clear of Imperial French forces. Thank you and good night.